Okay, so if you have a database with several lines of data and you want to display them on a profile and then display each profile below each other to compare from line to line, what you would do is open up your database with the different lines and you just want to check that the lines are loaded individually and so you click on this top left cell, right click, go to list and here are listed the different lines of data that I have. Um, if you don't have them loaded as an individual lines and you have them all in just one sheet of the database, then you need to just look back on how to actually import it as individual lines. I'll put up a tutorial about that a bit later. Okay, and so either you'll have this white area showing at the bottom of your screen or you won't. Um, so let's go from the fact that you won't. And so I want to show, this is uh, Brigade Gravity Data, and so you can see my last column here is BA. So I'm going to click on the heading so that it's blue, and I'm going to right-click and go Show Profile. And you can see this is my Brigade Gravity data. My x-axis here is just station numbers with these values in the left-hand column. And so I want to change that to distance, and how I would do that is I would go up at the top here to Database Tools, then go Channel Tools, and then make a Distance Channel. And so it's asking which are your X and Y channels. These need to be in meters. They can't be in degrees. And then output is going to be distance. I click OK. And it's just really calculating it. And then my column here is displayed as distance. Now how to get that to plot on the graph here. I right click on this plot area. Go to X axis and click on dist and click OK. And you can see my values have changed to distance values here. Um, something else I'm going to do is I don't actually want these decimal places. So I'm going to click on the heading here, Dist. Go right-click Edit. I'm going to take out decimal place. I'm going to put that at zero. The important thing to see here is that it says M. So that's meters or your units. It's all, it will be included in your plot. And the x-axis is going to be called Dist. I'm going to change it to Distance. I'm going to click OK. Um, something else, I'm just going to click on my BA heading here. I'm going to right click and go edit. Uh, I'm going to leave two decimal places. You will probably have to enter in that the units are milligal. And then I'm going to leave my heading as BA. So these are just things that we'll later plot on our graphs just to make it look nice. Click OK. Now I've got four lines of data. I want to see what the other lines are going to look like. And how I do this is I put my mouse over these four gray strips at the bottom, put it on the first strip and drag up and you can see it creates this area. You can actually drag this up so that you can see, have a better idea of what your plots look like and I'm going to do this for a second one as well. So now I've got three lines that I can display. You can do it for a fourth line. You can mess around with that later. This middle one, I'm going to click on it. I know that it's selected because this blue line has moved from the top down to the bottom. I go to Bouguet well, BA or my Bouguet Gravity column, I right click and I go Show Profile, shows the same one here. Go to the bottom window so that it's selected with this blue, I right click, I go to Show Profile. And so now these are all the same profiles, so I'd like them to show different ones. So what I'm going to do is this top one is going to be the first line, then the second one, the second line, then this one, the third line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this top one, I'm going to, so that it's selected, I've got a blue line here, right click, Profile options and it says source line. So change source line, line option if you want to alter the line which is presently displayed in the profile. The options are relative to the line currently viewed in the window. So I'm going to click on previous. Nothing's going to change though when I click OK because we are on the first line of the profile so there's no previous line before this. You'll see though that it will change. This one I'm going to leave it because it's already the middle window is on the, cur the current line. I'm going to click on the bottom window so that it's selected, right click, profile options, and go to next. Okay, so I've got a previous line at the top, current line in the middle, next line at the bottom. This will change because there is a line ahead of this line. And you can see there. Now, if I want to scroll through these lines, how I do this is I click on the cell at the top left, so that it's blue, and I'm going to use my page down and page up button. So it's just scrolling through the lines and it'll change your view at the bottom. So I'm scrolling and now you can see that there are three different ones. So um, the top one's actually our first line, middle one's the second line along, bottom one's the third line. And you can see how you can scroll through them. 
and there seems to be some sort of, oh no, it's, I was about to say a similar trend, but actually, because we're on the last line here, these two are showing the same line. Something you have to be a bit careful about is the fact that maybe you collected these profiles west to east, and then you got to the east, and then you came back and collected more data going east to west. So you are plotting these according to distance, but actually that's not a good comparison across lines because your lines might be going in different directions. So either what you can do is sort all of these so that they are, um, are all running west to east, which I'll show you now, or you could right click on the plot area, go X axis and change your, um, instead of using distance, you could use your X or Y values. Um, I'm not actually sure which direction these lines were plotted. Let's see. Okay. Uh, sorry, which direction they were walked. So I used, you can see there, I used the X axis. Um, sorry, the X coordinate as the X axis value. And it's made it go a bit funky. Let's try use the Y coordinate. And I click OK. Yes, it's a bit of a problem because some of your, um, some of your stations could be quite close together. So you would just need to spend some time sorting out what direction this line actually was plotted in. Easiest way to do that is let's just grid the data quickly. So I'm going grid an image, gridding, minimum curvature, and channel to grid, I'm choosing Begay. And I'm actually just going to call this grid file test for now because it's really just helping me see um, what direction my profile is. Okay, it's just busy grinning it up. And I'm now going to plot my lines. So I'm going to go to Map Tools, Line Path. I'm just going to make them black for now. Okay, and I'm just going to click OK. And click OK for Map Scale. Okay, so all of my lines are going north, southwest to northeast. Um, so that's why there could be some unusual overlap in the plotting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort my data so that all of it is increasing X values. So that when I determine my distance values, all of it, all of my lines are on the database are going from southwest to northeast. Okay, so what I do is I click back on my database here. I go to GX. I go run GX. And I'm just going to click on these three dots here to find the sort um, GX. So these are just different built-in functions. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here. And uh, sort all with two ALs. And I click on it and I click OK. So it says reference channel. So what values do I want to sort as uh, sort from or use, sort using? I'm going to use my X values. Ascending, because I'm going to the east. Sort read-only channels. Yes, none of mine should be read-only, but just, just in case you want to sort all your data, click OK. OK, and it hasn't helped 100%, but you can see the plot is a lot better. Um, so now what's happening is all of your lines are plotting from southwest to northeast. Let's go back to our plot here and go to X values um, and click Okay, sorry, click Cancel. What has happened here is that it's also sorted your distance channel. We need to recalculate the distance channel. You can go back to Database Tools and Channel Tools and Make Distance Channel, or you can just click on the heading here for Distance, right-click, go down to the bottom to Distance Channel, and it's just it gives you what you previously inputted, and it's going to recalculate here. Okay, you can see here it's created a new column because we changed the heading. Um, so that's fine. So just don't forget that you've got two columns, or you could just recalculate here. And then I'm just going to change this here to distance. So it overwrites the old one, and I'm going to delete this extra one that it's put in here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to click on my plot, right click, X axis options, click on distance. Okay, and so it makes a bit more sense now that everything, you've got a gravity high in the southwest and it's decreasing to the east. Let's make sure that that's what we see on our plot. So I'm going to plot them side by side. So I'm going to go window. I'm going to go tile vertically. And you can see that that really is what we're seeing. So what happens if, if I click on my profile, it's going to take me along. And it, it chooses the line because this line is the one that is selected in blue. So I've got a high in the west here, 
and it's decreasing to the northeast. If I click on this one here, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm incorrect. It's not according to what's selected here. It's according to which line is displayed in this top portion here. So if I want to click on a different line, I'm going to go up here, go page up, and then that's actually the one that it's showing us going along. So yeah, that's how you can display them. But you're not going to do a print screen of this because it looks quite messy. The best way to actually show it that you could put it into a presentation, right-click on the screen, go Plot Profile Figure. This area, you can put a title if you want. For now, I'm just going to click OK. Overwrite. Um, I don't want it to overwrite any of my maps. I'm just going to put here Test. But please don't put silly values. Put something that you're going to remember. Click OK. And you can see here that it's actually, um, because we made nice headings, it's got bouquet gravity that side, it's got distance this side. Um, okay, at the moment, the reason why we're getting all the same plot is because we are on our first line. So what we would actually want to do, sorry, let's close that, I'm not going to save it, is let's jump ahead so that they're all different. So you can see, that's the first one. I'm jumping to the next one. Click here, right click. Plot. Okay. Okay. So now you can see slightly different things. These jumps, like here, is probably because you've got two. Um, they were repeat readings, so you can see there are two values for the station, and so you actually need to go through your data and take out the repeat values. And um, maybe you do not like these lines in your on the background. How you would get rid of that? You can see here you've got a base, and that's the surrounding values. Stack 0 is this bottom one, stack 1 is the middle one, stack 2 is the top one. So this here is called the Group Manager tool. If you cannot find it, click on this second icon at the top here to bring it up. Um, sorry, software update. So only one of these will remove the background. Um, I fight with this every time. Probably... So I think what you would have to do is like select stack 0, put your mouse on the screen, right click, go, no, sorry, select BA profile. So not stack 0, BA profile, put your mouse on the screen, right click, edit this group, right click again, select all, and now what's happened is you've selected everything here in the background. And so you should be able to click on this um, line, and you have to then click on the delete button on your keyboard. So it's a lot of admin. You've got to do one at a time. I'm sure there's a better way of doing it. Please let me know if you know what it is. Um, and then just click on each one individually. So the main thing here is that, let me do the last one, and you could do the horizontal ones too, is that you can't, it, it might work clicking on the screen, but you sh really should go in this group manager tool you don't click on base you click on underneath the stack you don't click on stack you click underneath it on the one that has profile not profile underline trace and then you put your mouse on the screen here right click edit this group right click select all and then you should be able to click on individual lines um, and you can adapt it to make it look however you want it so yeah I hope that helped let me know if there's anything that you want me to explain again um, yeah, good luck.